There are many ways that people can take revenge for the hurt, disrespect, or insult that they have experienced from someone else. But using a painting to take revenge is provided with the most unique way to do it. I mean, probably no one today can imagine such a thing, but nearly two centuries ago, a painter named Vasily Pukirev did it. The painting is known as Unequal Marriage, and the name is as beguiling as the painting. When the painting was exhibited for the first time in 1862 at the year's academic exhibition in Russia, the entire country was left mesmerized by the artist's work and started wondering what the real story behind the painting was, and who was the painter who painted such an enthralling piece of work. Although the painting became extremely successful and renowned, the mystery behind the painting is still being uncovered by people. And various theories about the painting keep coming forward. After all, if you look at the mysterious painting, you too will want to know who the girl in the painting is. Who is the dashing man standing behind her crossing his arms? And why does he look so miserable? And why is the man giving a look that conveys his desperation and hatred towards the young groom in the portrait? There is also a ghostly looking old woman who appears almost invisible compared to the other subjects in the painting standing right next to the young groom and looking at the groom strangely. Let us dig deeper into the details of Unequal Marriage by Vasily Bukirev. The theme behind Vasily's Unequal Marriage is quite controversial. It depicts entitling someone to remain indifferent. There is a young bride who looks very unhappy and is putting her hand forward in a helpless manner, which is taken by the priest, leaning flatteringly while he seems to put the wedding band in her hands so she can put it on the groom's fingers. He will allow her to become the possession of the wealthy debauchee, who is quite older than her and is holding the candle. Weddings are supposed to be happy affairs, but this wedding looks anything but happy. The subjects are characterized in a grey church, and there is a dark truth behind the wedding. The girl in the painting sort of resembles a beautiful flower. Vasily Pukirev has conveyed her vulnerability and compassion, along with her helplessness towards the situation, in an incredible way. She appears like a kid who has only started hitting puberty and turning into a young girl. Her appearance showcases the beauty of youth. The child bride is painted in delicate lines, and her beautiful face, enticing shoulders, and to some extent, even her gorgeous white dress, are the most striking elements of the whole scene. On the other hand, the groom appears to be painted using angles and straight lines, which symbolize deterioration and stiffness, which hints about his aura that, in comparison to the charm of the elegant bride, it is destined to fade. Simply put, he will die away sooner than his bride, while she outlived him and will be loved for a longer time than him. And we are all witnessing the bond of the exchange. Many other people have participated in the crime, but are not shown in the painting. You can take an easy guess that we're talking about the parents of the girl, who must have agreed first for the exchange to take place, or the girl's aunt, who she's in care of, who has said yes for giving her hand away in marriage. They let her get married to the fat and stern groom, who's way older than her, and even the priest who will officiate the marriage is also okay with it. So you're not being a real pessimist if you think that the chances of the girl in the painting will be happy in her marriage and have a better future. Anyone who sees the painting will think the same, buddy. But the marriage between the two raises many questions, such as, what if the groom dies early and the girl becomes a young widow? If this happens, will she be at least rich from gaining her late husband's inheritance? To find out answers to these questions, let us dive deeper into the painting. Some guests in the painting are witnessing the marriage. Towards the stern groom's left is an aged woman with an outrageous look on her face. Some people even say that the painter has painted another old woman standing behind her and peeping at the whole event. Some very famous art critics of Russia, working at well-known galleries, have also suggested that these women are ghostly looking at old women and are the previous wives of the groom from his past marriages. Which raises the question of whether they are alive or dead, or are they on the verge of dying? The second theory might be possibly true, because that explains why they are present at the wedding. While one of the women looks at the groom with a sarcastic expression, 
The other looks at the ring that's about to be put on the bride's finger with great attention. Now let's talk about the mysterious male figure standing behind the bride, crossing his arms. He is quite younger than the groom and way more dashing than him. Some people say that he resembles the artist himself in a way. So that makes us wonder if the story depicted in the painting is inspired by the artist's own life. Another man is standing next to this good looking man who is looking directly at the viewers. The viewers can look at this man's eyes and notice his awareness of the whole situation and his deep empathy for the victims. Some people have suggested that this man is the painter's friend, Peter Shmelkov, whom Vasily met at the School of Painting, Sculpture and Architecture in Moscow. There is a theory explaining why Vasily Pukirev completed the painting so quickly and why it is so mysterious and enthralling that it leaves anyone who stares at it wondering about its story. The artist moved to another country after completing the painting, instead of relishing the appreciation and success of the unequal marriage after it was exhibited at the Autumn Exhibition at the Academy of Arts in 1863. The young painter fell in love with a gorgeous girl named Braskovia. Still, they could not continue their love because she was forcefully married to a wealthy merchant named Varentsov by her parents. Her old husband died before her, and the fact that the last known portrait of her was painted in a poor house suggests that her husband did not leave her enough wealth to live a good life. So apart from unhappiness, the marriage also brought her misery. But this incident left a stinging mark on the painter's heart, and to let his frustration out, he went ahead and painted the painting, which is named Unequal Marriage hence the name. So this is the whole story behind the painting. Vasily Pokirev took the saying that a pen is mightier than a sword and used his art to take revenge. Now that we've told you about the unequal marriage and what has inspired the painting, let us tell you a little about its talented painter, Vasily Pokirev. Vasily was born in a poor peasant household in the year 1832. After growing up, he worked as an apprentice under an iconic painter in Mogilev. But by the sheer fate of luck, he could enroll at the Moscow School of Painting, Sculpture and Architecture, which changed his life forever. He studied there from 1847 to 1858 under Apollon Mokritsky and Sergei Zaryanko. Vasily received his teaching certificate in 1850 and could teach as an art teacher in public schools. In the year 1855, he was awarded with the coveted title of artist, and after completing his study at the prestigious painting school, he became known as a free artist. In 1860, he was recognized as academician for historical and portrait paintings. The Unequal Marriage is said to be his best work, and he received wide acclaim for the piece of work. Unfortunately, in the latter half of the 1870s, he had to stop teaching art because he suffered from poor health and died in poverty in 1870. This is all for today, but we'll be back with more such interesting videos. So subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon so you never miss any new notifications from us.